Hey YouTube, welcome back to Birds DIYs. A uh, little different video for you. Uh, Off-road uh, driving lights. All right, let's get to it. Uh, these are the lights that I had on here before. I believe I had these from Northern Tool. Um, I've, I've had these for a few years. These were actually my backup lights on one of my flatbed trucks. Uh, and I sold the truck and I wanted to keep the lights. So I put them on as my off-road driving lights. These are flood lights as well as these, these new ones. Uh, but you can see the, uh, if I can get this changed with my other hand and uh, get my cat out of the uh, shop here. Uh, as you can see the comparison, I mean, that's, that's quite a bit of comparison on how big of the size it is. Um, thanks, cat. Uh, I had an issue a few weeks ago. Yeah, it was probably been a month or two. I lose track of time. <laughs> uh, but this one over here, it just stopped, the LEDs, it just stopped working all together. I was still getting power over there, and it was just really confusing and I think this one over here about half of the LEDs stopped working so the left two and the center one I think stopped working the very top one and the two right ones they, they were still working and there was nothing wrong with them they were still bright but half of them burn out I mean it severely affected the uh, the output so I got on to Amazon I was looking for off-road lighting and I came across these these are about $36 they're seven inches um, I just utilize the same holes that I had the old driving lights in okay uh, you're probably gonna need a you need a drill index so, you can get you a cheap one for like $10 at Harbor Freight. I've had this one for a few years now. Um, you, It comes with all your mounting hardware and comes with a short uh, stint of wire that comes off of it that has this uh, rubber jacket around it. Uh, you're going to need to buy you a relay kit uh, with a switch. Uh, you can get it for about $10. I've had this one for a while. Um, it's real easy to hook up. You'll use your small little black wire. It goes to the ground, so you can either go to your, your negative on your battery or go straight to a body ground. A body ground is just fine. Uh, and then it comes with two little small red wires. One is for the on and off for the switch. The other one is for constant power uh, that's fused. So... And it comes with a little fuse right here. So if you ever have a problem, you can, you know, the fuse box. So that's for the constant power on that side. Uh, and then you just want to run through the rubber grommet. Uh, don't mind this wire right here. I had an issue with my blower motor and everything uh, a while back. And I just got a new ignition switch in. Fixed that whole problem. So, because I had just wigged, rigged up a on-off toggle switch so I could have a blower motor working. Now I've got that fixed uh, uh, the other day and I've got to pull this out. I've just got it laid down, laid out right now. Uh, now I've got the first two, three, and four uh, power level settings for my, you know, my AC to finally work because I had heat and all that stuff, all these switches, all this worked right here, but not my blower motor. It was weird. I had a burn up contact in my uh, ignition switch. So I ordered a new ignition switch. All good to go. Here's the switch I was talking about. You can mount it anywhere. I've got to get some more 3M adhesive because I, my wife ripped it off right here. Love you, honey. So there it is, the red light with constant power. There's the green light signaling on. Let's go take a look at them. These things are bright, guys, even in the daytime. I literally just hooked these up. And, wow. These things are bright. 
my cat would stop getting in the way here. You could really get a good look at them here. But these things are great. Um, I, that wiring harness with the relay kit, it runs all the way right here. So it's got a two, uh, two light uh, switch uh, hookups. So the fi first light hookup switch is right here. Then I've got the wire running through the channel of the front. And I have extra wire right here, probably, you know, a good almost foot. Let's see if we'll focus. There we go. Almost a foot. So I just round it together and zip tied them together up out of the way. You just want to run it where it's out of the way of any moving things that it could rub on the fans, that it could rub on a fan. You know, you just want to make sure that it is out of the way good. But I got it running up behind the battery and everything and hooked up there. But these lights are bright. I'm ready for tonight to kind of see like the light output. That'll be awesome. Uh, and adjust them up a little bit as I go. I think I got them where I wanted to, but you never really know it until at night when you when you play around with it. But that's that video guys uh if you have any questions on the products that i use the the wiring harness uh, just give me a comment down below um, and i'll try and answer your questions um, it's really straightforward guys this is a, like a level one easy easy install for for people who are not electrically inclined mechanically inclined if you just need some simple Simple tools, uh, you know, depending on the light and the hardware kit that you get, uh, depends on, what, you know, what wrenches and everything you can use. But always make sure your connections are, are sealed up good um, and, and you'll not have, you'll never have any problems. All right, guys. Thank you.